Mr. Prasad uh, Upadhyaya spoke to me about uh, having this session, particularly the topics that he felt was very necessary to bring to our members because uh, there are notices being issued all over the state and all over the country. I had the, I have the privilege of uh, seeing some notices come from Ludhiana, from Calcutta, from Rajkot, Madurai, Ernakulam. The trend seems to be the same. We heard uh, the learner doctor share with us the economic perspective behind introducing GST, not just uh, the experience uh, of other countries, but uh, the thinking that has been accepted to benefit India as well. When we look at economics, we tend to understand the reasoning the benefits that uh, something like GST can bring to all of us. When it comes to law, reasoning does not exist. The law is what the law says it is. As tax practitioners, we need to understand the difference between the policy thinking behind making of this law and the law itself the way it is made. Many times I find questions being raised saying this demand for tax does not make sense. This demand is not logical. This demand is uh, unreasonable. In these questions itself there is a problem. There is a problem in these questions because we expect the law to be reasonable, the provisions to be logical, the officer to be understanding. None of these three things you can expect when it comes to law, certainly not when it comes to taxation. And I am not going to, and I recognize that uh, this program is being uh, recorded, I am not here to make a comment as to why someone will interpret the law in a different way. So we will take a few moments, we have a, about half an hour before the first break. I will share with you the officer's perspective. The tax officer also has a certain view of this law, they are also attending seminars, they are also finding this law complicated. So, to understand that perspective, I will make a few remarks about it. When you read GST law, it's been five years now, when you read GST law, have you ever found any person who is called the assessing officer? Is there any assessing officer in GST? GST officers during the training, when they are told that they are not assessing officers, they are not willing to accept. I am the assessing officer, so and so jurisdiction, I am the assessing officer. No sir, that you are the assessing officer in VAT. You are not the assessing officer in GST because section 59 of GST states that GST is a self-assessment tax. Unlike VAT, when you pay VAT and file the returns, it is required to be assessed. If your returns are not assessed within the time prescribed, your returns are deemed to be assessed. There is a difference between returns deemed to be assessed and the taxpayer doing the assessment. So there is nobody called assessing officer, then what for we have so many officers in the department that I have to give you an answer. I will give you an answer. If they are not supposed to do assessment, what are they sitting in the tax department? What should they be doing and what are they doing? Tax officers, till they come to an understanding that they are not the assessing officer, they will continue to do what they used to do in VAT. 
they will continue to do what they used to do in vat they will call the tax payer and ask them to come to the tax department please bring your books and records and come to the office i want to verify they will send letters called endorsement especially by the state administration it's called endorsement they will send letters saying please bring your books and records happily we are carrying all these books and records to the tax department as students of this law sir was very generous in uh, introducing me i am no expert in gst all of us have only 5 years experience in gst anybody with 20 years experience in gst impossible so therefore we are all students of this law i will bring my experience from bangalore and share it with you and i will take your experience in udupi and take it back with me to bangalore all right so if you look at it from that point of view we will need to recognize what is it that the tax officer is here to do how is it that he is supposed to carry out his responsibilities i mentioned that i will share tax officer's perspective first if anything goes wrong by way of loss of tax revenue if anything goes wrong by way of loss of tax revenue department will conduct an investigation to finally identify one officer the one officer who was responsible for this big mess let's take an example fake bill racket people you heard of fake billing fake bill racket if suddenly an investigation wing of the department investigates and comes across a fake bill racket they will now investigate who is that one officer who should have stopped this it is unfair you know where it will go and stop it will stop with the officer who granted registration because you gave registration he was able to issue a tax invoice and this person was able to claim itc so the registering officer when you make an application for registration his questions and queries seems unreasonable i told you reasonableness is in economics not in law but if you understand that officer's perspective you will now present your application for registration itself in a complete manner so this jurisdictional officer says i have to thoroughly verify the registration application if i blindly grant the registration then tomorrow such persons can cause a lot of mischief and i will be held accountable so he is going to ask questions like why is your office only 150 square feet why is your office only because i don't sit in the office i am working from home to sit at home and do all the work i don't need a bigger office what is your estimated turnover estimated turnover my aim is 1500 crores but now i think i will cross 20 lakhs this year please bring your aadhar card why is your name in the aadhar card different from your name in your pan card why is your face different in your election card compared to your aadhar card when you don't know when you don't know what questions to ask you will ask all sorts of questions because in his mind when he looks at this application he does not feel comfortable he feels that something is wrong 150 square feet office very big plans i think he is going to issue fake bills he has decided isn't it so please in every transaction that you have spend three times the amount of time in preparation for your work you need to spend in preparation for what the other side is going to think by looking at your application or your reply or your letters 
This is the first aspect I want to share with you. Second aspect, as auditors, we know this. Is there anybody here, when you did a tax audit or an income tax return or a, a new client brought their files and handed it over to you to take care of GST response, uh, compliances, you have verified the previous compliances. This year, if you get the file, you will check the past transactions also. Client is filing the returns and they come for annual income tax filing, you will check their accounts. If the client gives you the accounting work, you will check their bank statement. Is there anybody here, after thorough verification of all books and documents, you came to a conclusion that there is no mistake? Have we, as auditors, ever done a verification? The client believes that he has done the accounts correctly. The client believes he has done the, prepared the accounts correctly. But has, is there anybody here who says that you went and spent a lot of time, verified everything, came to the conclusion that everything is perfect? Our job is to find fault. We are auditors. Our job is to find a fault. It doesn't matter whether it is a really valid mistake that we have identified or a mistake that is not very serious. Our job is to showcase how much we have verified by identifying these things. Now you please take this and carry it to the department. An officer will get into trouble if he does not find mistakes, isn't it? His job is to, what is his job? His job is to reject your reply. And I am not saying this uh, to, in a lighter note. His job is to see what are all the ways in which the same thing can be interpreted to say that your answer is wrong. Sir was mentioning about uh, assessee perspective, department perspective. Any notification, today we've got notifications. On 13th of July, we've got a number of notifications. Uh, Mr. Prasad said we have to discuss that. So we will discuss that in the evening. But as soon as the notifications were issued, everyone started reading, everyone started sending messages to each other saying that, is my product exempt or is my product taxable. The way the question is asked to a tax practitioner is, sir, my product is exempt, isn't it? The way the, que the question itself contains the expected answer. My product is exempt, isn't it? So when you reply, no, it is taxable, already the other person is upset. And you don't want your client to be upset. The next statement that the client will make is, my friend is consulting Mr. Prasad Upadhyay, he has said it is exempt, what consultant you are? This is a very sad situation. Mr. Prasad Upadhyay also got the same reply, saying that I have consulted Jatin Christopher, he said it is exempt, why you are saying it is taxable? Please bear in mind, we are somehow trying to please the client. How many of you here are friends with any tax officer? You have his uh, mobile number, good morning, good morning message, uh, three roses, different color for all seven days, till 11.45 you will keep doing this only instead of working. You have this good morning group in WhatsApp, till 11.45 good morning, after that you have tea. After that, it is lunch time. You cannot send good morning, three roses uh, photo after 12 o'clock because uh, it means uh, you are waking up very late. You should wake up early in the morning. How many are friends with an officer? In sales tax, it was very valuable. In VAT, it was uh, slightly valuable. If you get any notice, you will see who is the officer. He is my friend. What is the next step? I will meet him, I will discuss with him and I will settle the issue. Where is the act? Act is in the cupboard. 
i will meet the officer i will discuss with the officer and i will settle the issue what is the meaning of settlement the client does not want to pay tax the officer wants to pay the tax we are the we are the channel of communication of arbitration mediation conciliation and conclusion of that where is the book and i'll tell you the reason why in vat appeals were very very limited why appeals were very very limited because 100% of the demand made you have to pay if you want to file a appeal 30% you have to pay by cash 70% you have to give a bank guarantee this is the evil of sales tax 1957 then vat i will tell you why the tax is let us say 5 lakhs interest is about 3 and a half lakhs penalty is 50000 rupees you get a demand for 9 lakhs if you go to the client and say sir you please uh, deposit 9 lakhs you can give 3 lakhs in cash 6 lakhs you can give a bank guarantee i will fight this case for you we will definitely win this how long will it take for us to get a favorable decision in appeal around sir we may get a favorable decision in 1 2 3 4 5 6 years we will get an answer sir you cannot give with clarity by when this appeal will get concluded so the evil of sales tax was you had to deposit 100% of the disputed amount in gst you have to pay 10% of the tax 0% of the interest 0% of the penalty to file an appeal so therefore in sales tax and in vat we were very submissive to the officer you don't want the officer to get upset if the officer gets upset he will pass an order demanding 20 lakh rupees instead of 5 lakh rupees he can in indian legal system being stupid is not a crime i am not saying any one person is stupid being stupid is not wrong i have come to a conclusion that 20 lakhs is payable you are not happy go on appeal to go on appeal you have to arrange the 100% of the disputed amount and file an appeal so the next alternative is what become friendly with the officer save his mobile number send good morning messages sunday also good morning on sunday monday good night his wife does not send so many greetings messages to him but uh, we will keep send in gst there is no need for i will call this unholy friendships i recognize sir is also here he's he seen this first hand i call this unholy friendships i will tell you why i say this uh, in officers training i will tell the officers don't be friends with me if you are friends with me if you invite me to your house for lunch and i invite you to my house for lunch we are never going to become friends the purpose of our friendship is one day i want to misuse this friendship sir my client he has done fake bill racket but you please leave him sir he has filed his returns late but you please don't demand any tax from him he has violated the provisions but because we are friends you please leave him sir so i will be friendly with an officer only to take advantage of that friendship another way officer is friendly with me saying that who is your consultant jatin is your consultant okay okay don't worry i will call jatin your client is uh, has been inspected his they has there is some liability please tell him to deposit the tax i have a target this month either i am going to take advantage of this friendship or he is going to take advantage of this friendship there is no other 
positive benefit of this friendship i will learn gst from sir sir will learn gst from no absolutely not so please i request you not to think that you should be friendly with tax officers if you are already friends with tax officer it is going to be useless probably a disadvantage in gst one officer came and told me after the training seminar a few weeks later the same officer issued a notice i replied to the notice that that notice is uh, invalid officer was in the training we discussed nicely we had tea together we discussed question answers etc few weeks later that same officer sent a notice i replied to that notice saying your notice is illegal it is not according to the act itself i don't know what you heard in class anyway so he called and said you are friends how can you write like this sir this is how i am going to write if because of this you are not going to store my phone number or you are not going to answer my good morning messages or you are not going to send me good morning messages let us discontinue this uh, unholy friendship right now because i am not planning to be your best friend how many are afraid of the officer by show of hands youngsters at least how many are afraid of the officer are you afraid you are afraid of the officer thank you sir for uh, accept this is the reality and i have seen somebody who is uh, 61 years old practitioner in bangalore say that he is afraid of an officer how many are afraid your client will leave you and go any time anybody you are afraid your client will leave you and go this consultant is coming from bangalore what if he starts a branch office in udupi then all my clients will go to him please consider in gst this is one thing that uh, in uh, mr prasad's presence this is important to mention tax practitioners are nobody's friends we are not friends with our client we are not friends with our with the tax administration as office bearers of our association they will speak to the various officers in the government as our representative when mr prasad goes and meets the commissioner or meets the principal secretary or even the cm he will go there to express our grievances and fight for us he is not going there to become friends with the officers there as tax professionals we need to be clear that our loyalty is not to the officer our loyalty is not to the client our loyalty should be to the law whoever does not follow the law we will not be able to help that person whoever follows the law we will be able to advise that person what he needs to do the reason why i am saying this is in gst the law is on our side the law gives safeguards rights and remedies we don't need to know save the officer's phone number we don't need to be friendly with them when we discuss this topic with tax officers officers have questions sir tax payers are not paying tax only properly sir. they are don't they don't file returns only gstr1 is not telling with gstr 3b what i should do officer is asking gstr1 is not telling with gstr 3b what should i do what should you do issue asmt 10 issue asmt 10 sir i issued asmt 10 they are not replying only then refer the case for audit under 65 i have sent adt1 nobody replies how many have received asmt10 and not sent a reply anybody in the gathering here you received asmt10 parvagilla you didn't send a reply how many received adt1 and said i don't have to reply let me see if they send another reminder please bear in mind i have done this i always do i mainly do only this i'm i'm not even hesitating 
when i receive a notice i will tell you how i will respond also please bear in mind the officer says if i don't receive a response to asmt 10 if i don't get the information in adt 1 what should i do you have to assume there is a mistake you have to assume there is a liability you have to assume that they are deliberately not discharging that liability please issue them a notice and proceed to pass adverse orders the officer's perspective is people are not giving me a response so therefore whenever you receive whatever kind of notice don't ignore it you have to file one reply with three points in that reply one reply with three points in that reply point number 1 i received your communication dated so and so on so and so date there is one communication we received with a delay of 794 days it was sent to the company to the proprietor by email this proprietor does pwd works contracts he is not knowledgeable about computers because for registration requirement he needs to have a email id somebody helped him create an email id and his email id says dr rajkumar 1974 at gmail.com he does not know what email id to he said whatever email id so any ni- any favorite name favorite name dr rajkumar okay dr rajkumar it was already selected so he said which is your year of birth sir 1974 okay dr rajkumar 1974 at gmail.com so somebody asked this assessee what is this dr rajkumar dot 1974 at gmail.com no it is your email id is it no sir at the time of registration everybody had to give email id so my auditor only created this uh, uh, email id and uh, that is the one i don't know where it sir where is it what do you, what do you mean no this email id where is it no you should know i don't know what is password so he saying what is password first you tell me what is password then i will tell you what the password is so this order has been sent to him by the time he realized it 794 days has passed corona many things so a letter was filed saying we received your letter dated 2018 in 2021 next two words we must use we reject whatever is in the notice and we dispute whatever amount is there as liability we dis- reject it and we dispute it the third whatever proceeding you say you are carrying out please explain to me under which section of the law you are doing this why do we have to ask an officer under which section he is carrying out this proceeding please consider section 160 sub section 2 it says if anybody has any objections to the validity of any proceeding you must raise your objections at the first opportunity the first opportunity you get to raise objections you must raise it sir i don't know how to object to the notice i don't know how to object i don't know what is right what is wrong how do i raise objection simple i object to your notice that's all no but why do i object that doesn't matter see there is a boy who failed in the exam a boy has failed in the maths exam now his father is asking him how much marks did you get does it matter does it matter how much marks he got in the exam because it doesn't matter he has already failed i object to the notice why you object to the notice i will discuss once you give me a valid notice as far as this notice is concerned i 
object so three step reply i received your communication dated so and so on so and so date second i reject the contents of your notice and i dispute the liability in it the third is i object to the validity of your proceedings and rely on section 160 subsection 2 now the officers in the department say what should i reply when i get letters like this from the dealer please bear in mind officers are undergoing training whenever you send a notice you have to send it under the right section you have to send it under the right section there is a dealer who has lot of mismatch in his input tax credit he has a lot of mismatch in his input tax credit this officer sent a letter asking us to bring the books and records to his office so we replied to him saying that we received your letter we reject your letter we object to your powers he got upset he got upset so he sent a summons under section 70 saying you please appear before me on so and so date you bring all your books of accounts we replied to that summons we object to the summons because you cannot ask for entire books of accounts in summons officer got very upset when when somebody gets upset with what you are saying be sure that you are going in the right direction if somebody gets upset then you can be sure you are going in the right direction so the officer issued a show cause notice he issued a show cause notice demanding penalty under section 122 117 122 to 170 we have verified the mismatch in the input credit is about 8 lakh rupees the officer does not have these records officer sent a show cause notice imposing penalty <coughs> before we could reply to the notice he passed an order he passed an order levying a very exorbitant penalty of 10000 rupees because that is the penalty prescribed in 122 1 10000 10000 he imposed he thought in his mind you said you are not going to reply bring your books of accounts you see what i will do you see what i will do and he passed an order we filed appeal against this 20 20000 rupees penalty to joint commissioner appeals joint commissioner appeals is not taking up this case because it is not priority 20000 rupees only then the officer called <coughs> you said you are not going to bring your books of accounts you see what i did i have passed an order now you are in trouble now at least if you understand please bring the books of accounts so we replied to the officer saying sir the matter is pending in appeal kindly wait joint commissioner fixed a date for the hearing we wrote a letter to the joint commissioner sir please give adjournment for 2 years 2 years you give adjournment why 2 years adjournment he asked give reasons give proper reasons why you want 2 years adjournment <coughs> there is no risk that i will run away there is no risk that i will run away so therefore you should not have any problem giving me adjournment second the amount is very small so it is not necessary to take it on priority third if really any liability is payable i have sufficient balance in my electronic cash ledger i can pay it any time so kindly and the joint commissioner gave a reply saying all right adjournment granted now this officer is wondering what he should do all right so please bear in mind in gst we don't need to be friends with the officer we don't need to be afraid of the officer we don't need to be friends with the officer we don't need to be afraid of the officer the reason why we are afraid of the officer is the law does not support us if you have to pay 100% of the demand and go on appeal that is not a good law the law does not support us today we have a law that says i will support you 
if you are going to take responsibility of self assessment of tax if we are sure that we have assessed the liability correctly if we are sure that we are not doing hanky panky things with fake bills etc why should we be afraid fear resides where knowledge is absent where knowledge resides fear will be absent i wish all of you gathered this morning to a wonderful session today to learn things i don't want to refer to the law and say this section this rule etc i want to bring my experiences in the last 5 years and share it with you and it's a privilege that uh, an eminent economist president of our association senior members are present we'll take a short break now we will come back we look at some specific issues because we can't go from here this evening carrying this fear of the law officer we have to go from here knowing we can do this right the reason why we have to do this right is because the law gives us rights remedies and safeguards thank you for the tax officer to visit the tax payer premises for the tax officer to visit the tax payer premises which section gives the power for the tax payer to visit the tax department which provision places this burden there is no section there is no section for the officer to visit the tax payers premises there is no section for the tax payer to visit the tax officers premises we are used to vat and sales tax whenever you have doubt let us go and consult the tax department who told you that the tax department has gst experts who says tax officer your jurisdictional lgsto assistant commissioner deputy commissioner joint commissioner who says that they are experts what is the tax payer an ex tax officer an expert of tax officer is an expert in the tax administration procedures tax officer is an expert in the tax administration procedures tax officer has one more responsibility to increase tax collections every month he has a target every quarter he has a target every year he has a target and those targets are being revised during the year first tax payer is not an expert in gst so tax officer is not an expert in gst he is also learning she is also attending seminars they are also buying books they are also having doubts they also call for clarifications so therefore don't assume tax officer is an expert in gst second they are experts in administration of the law because they have been given instructions clearly what to do the third is there any provision in gst act or the gst rules where there is only one interpretation is there any provision in entire gst law where only one interpretation is possible we'll take a few examples supply one interpretation or many interpretations many interpretations itc one interpretation or many interpretations many interpretation transition credit is it itc or not itc many interpretations recently we got a show we got a notice under section 39 of vat act we got a notice under section 39 of vat act demanding repayment of transition credit so we replied to the officer saying you cannot demand repayment of transition credit under vat act you have to demand it under gst act so the officer said under which section of gst act i can demand this tax for that you have to attend seminar in udupi where we are going to discuss this topic now i am not going to explain 164 one interpretation or two interpretations 
थ्री फोर फाइव इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑल्सो पॉसिबल थर्टी सिक्स फोर मेनी इंटरप्रिटेशन सेवनटीन फाइव मेनी इंटरप्रिटेशन रिफंड मेनी इंटरप्रिटे एवरी प्रोविजन ऑफ द लॉ हैज मेनी इंटरप्रिटेशन पॉसिबल नाउ विच इंटरप्रिटेशन डू यू थिंक एस एस सी विल सेलेक्ट विच एवर इज बेनिफिशियल टू एस एस सी दैट इज द इंटरप्रिटेशन एस एस सी विल सेलेक्ट विच इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफिसर विल सेलेक्ट विच इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफिसर इज रिक्वायर्ड टू सेलेक्ट विच एवर इंटरप्रिटेशन गिवस हायर अमाउंट ऑफ टैक्स सो देर फोर वेन यू गो टू द टैक्स ऑफिस you will not get the correct interpretation that you can be sure of why giving you the correct interpretation is not their job so we'll take an example of advance ruling advance ruling gives guarantee that whatever is the answer department will not go back on that answer for that particular assessee advance ruling guarantees certainty not accuracy advance ruling guarantees certainty not accuracy so don't rely on advance ruling for interpreting the law tax officers can rely on advance ruling if that ruling is in favor of revenue if that ruling gives another way of looking at the same transact maharashtra ruling authority has given one view karnataka authority has given a different view which one assessee will select which one officer will select both are in opposite end assessee will select what is favorable to assessee department will select what is favorable to department so therefore please keep in mind the only way of getting a correct answer is if you read the law and you are satisfied with the conclusion you have arrived at no we will wait for a supreme court ju- judgment supreme court itself is changing its view about gst there is one judge who now has been elevated to supreme court who said uh, gst is too complicated for judges gst is too complicated for judges so what is your uh, cto trying to pretend to be an expert of gst it is not possible so when you look at this approach in gst tax payer does not care about what is the law frankly speaking tax payer does not care about what is the correct interpretation of the law tax payer wants to do what everybody in his industry is doing if everybody is paying he will also pay if nobody is paying he will also not pay that's all what is your opinion you do whatever you want there is a chartered there is a tax practitioner who told his client sir gst rates have undergone a change lot of notifications lot of circulars have been issued recently i want to have a meeting in your office i will explain all the changes i have attended seminar in uh, tax bar association um, organize the seminar i want to come and explain to you so the tax payer said sir we have no confusion about gst if you are having confusion you go to seminar tax professionals are attending seminar tax payers are very clear because tax payer is simply doing what everybody else is doing they will contact their own because tax payers have their own association grain merchants society hardware dealers association gta association there are many associations for each industry if not they have fkcci they will go and ask anybody what they are doing it's like uh, <coughs> how a tax payer approaches is they are you are watching cricket match at home you are watching cricket match at home very crucial last uh, over last over very crucial suddenly there no electricity suddenly there is no electricity what you will do you will get very upset you will first you will tell some youngster in your house your son daughter nephew ni somebody pakkad manel current idiya nodu if the neighbor also does not have electricity candle tagond ba ante 
if the neighbor is having electricity and you are not having electricity what you will do call somebody electricity department you call the assistant engineer or you call your building association president if you don't know call udupi district tax bar association president some president you contact sir namma manel samasya ide you have to solve this tax payer only does what the industry is doing all right we see this 13th july notification you will find the tax payers have are now calling for a band for a strike uh, opposing these amendments etc so many tax payers are waiting and watching sir i have prepared a small note of the gst changes and the lightly it's okay huh? we will wait for the result after the band isn't it after that only we will know what is going on so therefore when you view this many times what happens we are looking for case law somebody will call sir uh, on 164 do you have any case law no 164 there is no case law that has been uh, rendered by any high court sir i have some uh, advance ruling can i use that what you want to use it for no sir i am preparing a reply so i want to give a case law then what will happen to your reply sir my reply will become strong It's like you're building, you're, doing, you're pouring concrete. I want to put some steel rod inside the concrete so it will be. See, case law does not mean I have to stop thinking. Case law does not mean I have to stop my thinking. Case law may be in favor. Case law may be against also. Have you seen decisions that have got reversed? many decisions have got reversed gujarat high court will give one decision it will go to supreme court supreme court will reverse it so when you view these decisions it is necessary for you to have your opinion what will happen maximum what will happen your answer may turn out to be wrong that's all ultimately it is your wrong answer it is better to have your own wrong answer than somebody else's right answer and our tax bar association is exactly for this reason where you can discuss with each other one more aspect i want to mention and this is something for everyone to consider especially youngsters in this getting in this profession when i was in school there were some students who were very brilliant students they went on to become doctors and engineers the rest of the group in the class became tax professionals huh these boys in any exam they will write their exam like this inside the exam hall there is lot of gap between all the chairs even though there is lot of gap even though nobody can see what they are writing they will write like this why will you write like this if he copies my answer uh, what will happen if he copies your answer what will happen if somebody copies your answer no uh, teacher will punish me that i am showing the answer no 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 showing the answer is like this if that person is so talented that he can copy your answer from long sight huh? nothing will happen we bring that attitude in our profession my client my book my case law my reply my show cause notice my order my appeal my draft don't share anything with anybody so that when i die everything they can put in the ground along with me uh, all the show cause notice all the reply everything i will take and go with me friends when you learn please share it because whatever you learn it requires only one case law to make your knowledge public information one judgment comes out whatever you know will now be public information so please share your knowledge because when you share maybe some there are two types of people who will take what you are doing suppose you write some article you prepare one reply you draft one notice there are two types of people those who are happy that you are sharing your answer 
those who are angry that you are sharing the answer those who are happy will benefit those who are angry will find mistakes in your answer and come back and become your teachers they will come and tell you what you are doing wrong so i have made this practice all the replies to the notices various types of notices beautiful when i share it people will come back telling me what is wrong in the reply how can you write a reply like this this is not correct normally they will come and uh, give comments your reply is too long your reply is too short your reply is too long your reply is too short long and short you leave it do you find any mistakes in it then i'm happy but till i find somebody who will find mistakes you will constantly keep increasing so from now onwards in udupi sir you have to please send this message across nobody is going to write like this whatever you do you please share it because if your client you think your client is going to leave you and go he will anyway leave you and go your client is working with you not because he does not know any other consultant your client is working with you not because he does not know any other tax practitioner he is working with you because he wants to work with you he is working with you because he so therefore two things <coughs> if our loyalty is to the law if our loyalty is to the law and our craft what we do if we focus on that you don't have to worry about the rest of the things there is an officer who visited the tax payers premises they visited and said uh, we are conducting a search we are conducting a search so they called and said uh, sir so and so officer has visited they say they are conducting a search <coughs> i said uh, you please ask them to give you a copy of one authorization form the act prescribes a form called form ins1 form ins1 the officer said i don't have ins1 how dare you ask me for all this you know who i am you know what i can do you know what i have done to so many others so they called and said sir he does not have ins1 but he also does not know who he is he is asking me do you know who i am all right so we wrote a short letter immediately gave it to the officer without ins1 you cannot come to my office if you insist you search whatever you want to search i will go you search when you are searching two years ago one income tax uh, letter had come i have lost it if you find it you give me that also uh, i will go now you search it has been two years that search is not concluded till today we get afraid because officer says you know who i am it doesn't matter who you are sir if you don't have authorization you cannot come and search my premises so then the tax practitioner says sir my client will say <coughs> if you don't cooperate with the officer he will create a very big demand we have a re- case recently in madurai the officer came the officer said uh, we are conducting a search so they search it's a sari showroom they counted all the stocks the auditor takes 3 days to count officer finished in 4 hours i don't know how but anyway they finished the search they said uh, you have to produce all the bills and vouchers i want to verify your itc so we gave a reply saying that uh, itc verification cannot be done during search you search and you go no no since anyway i have come to the premises i will do all the work see every section has limited powers under section 61 they can verify the returns under section 65 they 
they can audit the books under section 67 they can do search inspection search and seizure only if there is a evasion every section has a specific provision it is like <coughs> there is a person who went to the hospital because his uh, leg was paining he has a problem in his leg so he went to the hospital when he was uh, leaving the hospital he had a bandage on his head the doctor said anyway you have come to the hospital i will do complete checkup and i will say in inspection there is no provision for doing complete checkup it has been 2 years that search is still not complete so in this madura instance the officer said i want to check all your bills so we said no you cannot check all the bills if you want to check you please go and in the accounts department all the files are kept you can check what is the objective what is the purpose that an officer selects a particular case to do anything scrutiny audit inspection he wants to do an audit to set an example in the district if your name gets selected they are going to make an example out of you they are not going to check and say okay very good excellent you have kept everything properly so now i will go back please bear in mind if you are not interested in taking care of your rights in protecting yourself then nobody can help you if you don't want to protect your own rights nobody can come and help you i'll give you three instances three sections i will touch upon to talk about how these notices are being issued i enjoy going to places and talking to professionals about these practical issues i don't so much enjoy going to delhi and bombay and talking there because uh, they think they know everything they think they know everything they don't need any help <coughs> i also enjoy talking to the officer so one friend in uh, yadgir he said sir what you are discussing my officer does not know sir my officer is not very very smart he doesn't know all these things he only knows he is not like this he is like this he does not know all this gst provisions please keep in mind in gst your officer need not be very intelligent in head office in bangalore there is a small team who are sitting and drafting all the notices there is a small team in bangalore who are, who are drafting all the notices those notices are being sent by whatsapp to your officer your officer only has to fill the name and address and gst number sign and send it that much your officer knows how to do correct i'll give you three examples to highlight this aspect everybody is aware of debit note everybody is aware of debit note what is the hsn code for debit note what is the hsn code when you raise a debit note you have to charge gst you have to pay gst also what is the hsn code you have to use when you are raising a debit note the same hsn code which was there in the original invoice correct debit note is nothing but additional amount you are collecting for the supply already made so when you are now issuing a debit note you cannot change the hsn code you are have to use the same hsn code when you raise a debit note you use the same hsn code what is the time of supply for a debit note what is the time of supply for a debit note if you see section 12 uh, 6 and 13 6 late payment charges only time of supply is on receipt basis for all other cases of debit note there is no 
special time of supply provided so when you issue a debit note the hsn code is the original invoice the time of supply also original invoice when you issue debit note therefore interest is payable or not payable when you issue debit note interest is payable or not payable of course it is payable interest is payable on gross tax liability or net tax liability interest is payable on net tax liability only when there is a delay in 3b this is a case where there is no delay in 3b whenever you pay interest other than delay in 3b you have to pay interest on gross tax liability now how will the officer raise a demand if i take out your r1 report gstr1 report i will know which is a invoice which is a debit note because you are only maintaining separate serial number you have only paid the tax so interest on gross tax liability can be demanded based on r1 report let us say you have paid tax through drc3 in cash you have paid tax through drc3 in cash when you pay tax through drc3 does it mean you are disputing the liability or you are admitting the liability you are admitting that is why you are discharging it whenever you make payment through drc3 it all you are admitting the liability you are also admitting that it was omitted from 3b you have admitted the liability and you are admitting that it is omitted from 3b so therefore you are liable to pay interest on gross in respect of all 3b drc3 payments now my officer here in udp does not understand all this sir he did not even come to the seminar so how he will know this in head office asmt 10 is ready shokas notice is ready draft order also ready draft order is also ready because in head office the discussions are if you give a notice like this what are all the replies that a tax payer can provide let us prepare the notice accordingly please bear in mind what reply you are going to give do you think department does not know department already knows that so you have to be careful as to how to reply to the notice 90% of the notices that i receive i don't give a reply i receive the notice but i don't reply to the notice i'll give a small example to highlight this aspect i'm not saying therefore stop replying to notices the message i want to bring for you is don't blindly reply to notices don't blindly reply to notices there is a notice we received from kerala the assc has other income in his balance sheet 20 lakhs assc has other income in his accounts itself for pnl account other income 20 lakhs assc is dealing in some commodity which is having a rate of tax of 28% department came they have conducted an audit central tax they have conducted an audit and they have said you have other income in your financials why you have not paid gst assc gave some reply department said no 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 you cannot say like that you have to pay gst and gst show cause notice was given assc came stating that i have this show cause notice can you give a reply so okay we can give a reply so the client said sir can you give detailed reply i said i will give reply what do you mean detailed reply sir very strong reply sir with lot of case laws a lot of case laws and everything can you give a strong reply so we told the client don't give consultancy to consultant i am consultant you don't give me consultancy you want reply we accepted your your work now you don't give consultancy because he is consulting 100 consultants so he will bring little little of information from everywhere and he will give consultancy so we filed a reply to the show cause notice stating we do not understand the show cause notice therefore we are not in a position to give the reply reply we do not understand the show cause notice therefore 
we do not give a reply to the show cause notice so the officer got little bit upset and you know if the officer gets upset you are in the right direction if the officer gets upset you are in the right direction so the officer said please explain why you do not understand the show cause notice we replied again you have demanded 3.6 lakhs tax uh, you, have, you have demanded 5.6 lakhs tax on 20 lakhs turnover that means you have used 28% rate of tax can you please explain what is the hsn code you have used see without hsn code i will not come to know whether you think it is goods or service because gst is not a supply of anything tax it is a supply of goods tax or a supply of service tax you tell me what is the hsn code until you tell me the hsn code i will not give the reply so the client is asking sir why you are having all this discussion with the client i told you to give strong reply so we told the client i told you not to give me consultancy you go from here don't come and disturb me i mean i know what i am doing so we gave this reply to the department because now the officer knows who the adjudicating authority knows <coughs> 213 ELT 487 Supreme Court decision in Brindavan Beverages in paragraph number 10 Supreme Court says defective notice is fatal to the demand defective notice is fatal to the demand Brindavan Beverages 213 ELT 487 next section 757 of the GST law says the grounds on which the notice is given the same grounds order must be passed order cannot be passed on a different grounds so we replied to the question saying i don't understand the question further clarification we said that the hsn code is not specified therefore we cannot give the reply so officer fixed a hearing so we went for the hearing officer said i know what you are trying to do so sir what do you mean sir it's okay it's okay please explain to me what is the other income in your financials so we replied sir shokas notice is the conclusion of investigation you cannot investigate after giving the shokas notice so i politely refuse to answer this question i politely refuse to answer this question officer stood up he got very upset and you all know if the officer gets upset then you are in the right direction so we said i cannot give you any new information therefore first you clarify the question then i will give the answer one year later we received a order of adjudication dropping the demand dropping the demand please bear in mind to win a match to win a cricket match normally you have to score a high run in what, 2020 they will score some 200 runs 250 runs one day match now it is 300 350 runs they will score that is not the smart way of doing sometimes you can score a lot of runs and win the match sometimes you can bowl nicely and you can defeat the other team sometimes because of the rain you will win the match by duckworth lewis method you always have to plan depending on the notice how to reply tax payer is blind tax payer is blind you know why tax payer is blind tax payer is blind because he is innocent tax payer sir i have done nothing why they are giving me notice i don't agree why so much fees for you i don't agree everybody has to do everything free for me because i am innocent papa i am very innocent person i never did anything this company they are not paying tax that my friend there he has never paid tax this fellow he is taking itc without making any purchase everything i am doing correctly still i am only getting notice yeah because you are filing everything only they can give you notice 
the other fellow is not filing anything for them best judgment assessment for you notice tax payer is blinded by his innocence but the tax professional he is neither a friend of the officer nor the friend of the client we are loyal to the law what does the notice say if the notice is not if the notice is deficient i will now have to object that the notice is deficient please don't accept the client to guide your planning as to how you have to reply to the notice sir my client has instructed me my client has instructed me not to fight with the department not to fight with the department my client has said if you fight with the department everybody in the department will come to the factory they will check everything and they will create very big problem for the client the client thinks he is uh, the most important person for the department this client in udupi he thinks he is the most important person in entire udupi district additional commissioner in bangalore also is fully focusing on this client please bear in mind everybody has been given notices do you think there are more officers in the department or more assessees in the trade there are obviously more assessees when there are more assessees and limited number of officers how many notices one officer can give how many cases one officer can follow officer will follow only those cases where he gets the necessary information to decide what he needs to do so therefore please keep in mind nobody thinks in the department that you are such a important person this we have to remove this from our mind that sir if i don't give a reply they will keep a grudge that the jurisdiction officer he will always remember me officer will not remember you because by sending you a notice more work for him i'll give an example everybody has received notices that uh, 26 as is not matching with st3 everybody has received notices 26 as is not matching with st3 as soon as you send notice that 26 as is not matching with st3 now 30th 31st august is the last date for those 3 months again notices will come tax payer what he is doing sir i will give reconciliation statement sir i will give reconciliation statement in like in one one sheet i will make a bigger reconciliation i will give it to you in landscape format also sir i will give you in excel i will give in pen drive also has anybody given a reply to the show cause notice which says 26 as is not matching with st3 have you replied to the show cause notice that 26 as is not supposed to match with st3 who told you it is supposed to match no 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 give the reconciliation officer will drop the demand please bear in mind officer job is to reject your reply anybody thinks officer will accept your reply and say excellent mr prasad upadhyay what a wonderful reply you have given sir excellent take my phone number give me your phone number you come to my uh, dot thing also now we are life long friend anybody has told you sir his job is to say whatever you have said is rejected sir why you are rejecting adella gotilla reject madbeku anta helidare so we will reject whatever you are going to give so therefore please bear in mind there is a lot of difference between truth and facts i'll give a small example you answer this question in your own mind a murdered b this is a sentence nobody murdered anybody don't worry huh? already tension in your faces a murdered b this is a sentence a murdered b is a sentence what is the fact in this sentence anybody what is the fact a murdered b what is the fact murder okay sir c b is dead is the only fact murder is the allegation a is the accused sessions court has to decide you are already deciding see tax payer you are not paying gst properly you are not paying gst properly 
is a statement of fact or a opinion you are not paying gst properly is a statement of fact or a opinion it is a opinion but we are accepting it as a fact 2a is not matching with 3b we got one show cause notice from hyderabad one young irs officer sent this notice 2a is not matching with 3b he sent a show cause notice we replied saying we are not going to reply you should reply yes he replied what did you say in the reply we are not going to reply so officer he got upset that means we are doing something correct so officer got upset he fixed a personal hearing virtual mode no he fixed a personal hearing saying that thursday you have to come to hyderabad so we called up and said sorry we cannot come what do you mean you cannot come i am deputy commissioner sir it is okay sir no money to come that's all no other problem nobody will pay for flight ticket you come by train sir i don't come by train <laughs> no money to spend on unnecessary traveling expenditure like this so i cannot come you fix virtual hearing why virtual hearing supreme court only is doing virtual hearing what is your problem if you fix virtual hearing we will have hearing okay with officer first level he was angry because we have not given reply next he is again angry because you are not visiting because if you visit either this will work or this will work so we are not visiting so we had a hearing officer said 2a is not matching with 3b reply sir your 2a itself is wrong sir my 3b is correct your 2a is wrong okay what you can do you do the reconciliation and you tell me the details sir i don't know how to do reconciliation and also see i will tell you you go to your login you scroll the screen down there is one red color button you press that button one excel file will download it will have 2a data you take that 2a data take all sir one minute one minute what you are giving me assignment sir this is your case you do all this you come to the conclusion that it is not tallying then you give a new show cause notice we will see today your 2a is wrong two years over officer never replied officer is saying now he has become friends he will send whatsapp for doubts deputy commissioner whatsapp he will send doubts so he said so that case uh, you have not replied what happened i have left that case sir what you are doing i also left that case why like you very few people are asking me questions 90% are giving me detailed reconciliation like this they are preparing sometimes they are preparing like this sometimes in excel they are preparing and giving me pen drive also if everybody is willing to do the work that the officer is supposed to do why will they waste time preparing a detailed show cause notice isn't it there is one more instance in bangalore very interesting this officer came and uh, saw that the company this is a limited company very big company they are having depreciation 2 crores depreciation is 2 crores the officer said why you are having 2 crores depreciation sir what i can tell you sir lot of machinery and is there in the factory so every year 10% it is reduced so it is 2 uh, crores for this no no how it is possible every year machinery will come down only by 10% that took corona time you are not using the factory at least some this year 5% it should be next year it can be 10% now this officer is in puc level you have to bring him up to bcom accounts level it will take lot of time so we said okay sir what you want to do depreciation is too much what you want to do i want to levy gst okay sir you levy gst okay officer calculated gst he calculated 18% gst officer said uh, what is your uh, nature of business what is the normal hsn code you are using sir our hsn code is uh, 9983 okay same thing we will use for this also huh? same thing we will use for this also so he calculated 18% on 2 crores gave a show cause notice for 36 lakhs short reply see when you when you are, when the answer is long it is mostly wrong 
Correct? No? When the answer is long, it is mostly wrong. Short reply. Sir, as per Schedule 2D, as per Schedule 2D, when there is a permanent transfer of a business asset, it is a supply of goods. You are classifying under 9983. So, your notice is wrong. So, officer said, then what I should do for this notice? Sir, you have to drop this notice. No, 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 I already told Joint Commissioner that I cannot uh, drop this notice. So, after this discussion, officer became friendly. So, he ordered tea. So, we sat down. Hearing was stopped. We had tea. Officer, in the case, I said, sir, you drop this notice. You give fresh notice. 9983 you cannot use. You must use 8714 and give a notice. I will pass order with 8714. No sir, you cannot do repair work. You cannot do repair to your notice. This notice is gone. So the officer is still deciding whether to pass the order or drop the notice. One more instance. The reason why I am giving you these instances, these are real cases, real notices. If we think that we will give reply to the notice and convince the other person, you can be sure that they are not prepared to be convinced. Their job is to reject your reply. There is a hotel in Mysore. There is a hotel in Mysore. They are having a hotel in Bombay also. Hotel in Mysore, they are having a hotel in Bombay. They are collecting CGST, SGST in Mysore. Somebody has told them, don't take too many GST number. Too many GST number means too many audits, too much of notices, too much of headache. So they have not taken registration in Mysore. They have registration only in Bombay. They collected GST. They told the accountant, you please deposit this tax. So he tried to log in. No login for Karnataka. He has login for Maharashtra. He has deposited all the CGST, SGST in Maharashtra. GST department in Mysore came for inspection. What is this? You are running a hotel. You are not paying GST. They found that he has collected GST but not deposited GST. The officer said, I have to give you a notice. You know what he did? What taxpayer normally does when an officer comes is fall at his feet. Sir, Yenadru Madi, settle Marana. Yenadru Madi, settle Marana. So the officer said, I want to help you, but uh, I can't help you. Let me think about it. So the officer said, see, from Karnataka, SGST has to go to State Department. CGST has to go to Delhi. Actually, they have paid CGST and SGST in Maharashtra. So, the CGST money has gone to Delhi. Directly from Mysore or via Bombay, it has gone to Delhi. Okay, I will help you. How you will help me? Officer gave Shoka's notice for SGST only. SGST portion 6%, he has given notice. So, the client brought this notice saying, Sir, can you take up this case and help us? Says, we studied the case. We said, okay, we can help you. Sir, strong reply, sir. S detailed. Like. Consultant, ke? consultancy, beda. And don't give consultancy to consultant. We will handle this case. Sir, officer, chenna parcha idare. Nimugu parcha markodla. Not required, thank you. File Kotidira, Ni Hogbudi, we will take care. Officer fixed a date for here. We told the client, you immediately file refund application in Mumbai because they have paid 56 lakhs. 56 lakhs is total CGST, SGST. They have paid 56 lakhs in Mumbai. So immediately you file refund. They filed refund and within two months they got the refund money also. They got the refund money also. So now the client is saying, what I be, should do with this money? So you keep that money, we will finish this case, then we will decide. Sir, it has been more than three months, I already got the refund. You have not even prepared the detailed reply. What is this, sir? You have taken fees also in advance. 
Huh? You have not done any detailed reply. You wait. Don't give consultancy to consultant. So we told the officer, we are not going to file the reply. Please fix the hearing. You have to fix a hearing to pass the order. Please fix the hearing. Officer also understands all the facts. He knows about the payment in Mumbai. Everything he is aware. He only gave the suggestion. Only CGST I will drop. SGST I will demand. So we went for the hearing. In the hearing we told the officer. Sir, uh, we don't have anything to say. What do you mean? Nothing to say, sir. You kindly proceed with order. The client is upset. Sir, you are not argued the case properly. Wait. Don't give consultant. You pass order, sir. Officer was prepared that you will give detailed answer, this case law, that judgment, this definition. So, officer was well prepared. But officer now is surprised. Why you are not giving any reply? So, officer, instead of getting angry, order T. We sat down, we are discussing. Heli, why you don't want to give the reply? No, sir, you pass order. When you pass order, you have to prepare DRC 7. You will enter SGST amount. Correct? SGST amount you will enter. It will auto-populate CGST, SGST. But CGST is not in your show cause notice. You will delete CGST. SGST also will get deleted. You pass order. Two and a half years over. Two and a half years over. Now the client is saying, Sir, that 56 lakhs, sir. Said, no, 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 you can't do this. It is tax money. Today or tomorrow you have to deposit this. This notice, we have got a favorable outcome. Let us wait for the time to get barred. 8th of November, this 8th of November 22, this client had uh, planned a very big party because 8th November 1718 will get time barred. But government has now extended this to September 2023. So we have to wait. Please bear in mind, when you get a notice, don't rush to reply to the notice with all the truth that you are aware of. First, whenever you get a notice, question the question before you answer the question. This is the one more message I want to bring for your consideration. Question the question before you answer the question because section 155 says any person who takes input tax credit the burden to prove that he is entitled to that input tax credit is on such a person. See if the burden to prove is on the assessee the burden to prove is regarding entitlement of credit or everything under the act. The section says only regarding input tax credit I have the burden. So everything else the burden is on the department. Today department is not doing investigation. What is the department doing? Department is giving a allegation. 26A is not matching with ST3. 2A is not matching with 3B. 1 is not matching with 3B. E-way bill is not matching with 1. E-way bill is not matching with 3B. Sir, many things are not matching. But what is your problem? What? See, I have done my assessment under 59 and I have paid the tax under 39. What I have paid under 39, that is final. According to me. You cannot ask why something else is not matching with 3B? The answer is 3B is correct. So we had not, we have notices like this. Your 1 is not matching with 3B. And they will issue ASMT 10 stating R1 is not matching with 3B. Short reply for that. What is the reply? I have already filed 9. I have filed 9 and 9C. Don't ask me question about 1 and 3B. Officer is upset. If he is upset means your answer must be correct. Correct? If, if officer gets upset, your answer... See, I have already written final exam. You are asking me about preparatory exam, how I am doing. 
correct no one and three b it is not matching it is not relevant i have filed gstr 9 if you have any questions ask about gstr 9 before filing 9 you can ask about one and three b question the question before you answer any question there is an officer who did an inspection they came and inspected in hosur they inspected searched found lot of things they went back they gave a show cause notice 2a is not matching with 3b 175 reversals motor vehicle you have taken itc some rcm you have not paid the show cause notice is given under section 73 show cause notice is given under section 73 short reply long reply means wrong reply short reply officer has come to the conclusion that there is no evasion of tax first sentence officer has come to the conclusion there is no evasion of tax why there is no evasion of tax because show cause notice is given under 73 whenever there is evasion of tax show cause notice must be given under section 74 officer has come to the conclusion there is no evasion of tax so entire search that was conducted has been accepted as illegal nothing further to reply please bear in mind when you go in appeal when you go in appeal the appellate authority will ask appellate authority will ask whether you your reply to the show cause notice was limited to the show cause notice or the reply to the show cause notice was beyond the show cause notice many tax payers will introduce new information that is not present in the show cause notice i'll give one service tax example one notice 26 as is not matching with st3 we filed a reply that this notice is not correct so we had a hearing one young deputy commissioner lady officer so she said uh, you have not given any reconciliation statement in your reply i can't give you any reconciliation statement because you cannot reconcile these two things why 26 says i didn't prepare all my clients have paid some tds based on that this report is generated so i don't understand this see if i understand the question i can give answer no officer got angry if they get angry then i am very happy because we are in the right direction officer said are you going to tell me what service you provide or you are not going to tell me what service you provide so madam you don't even know what service i am providing is that what you are saying yes i don't know you have to tell that's when i will come to know i will give good order i will pass good bad we will see later i have nothing further to reply to this notice they don't even know what is my service that means they don't even know whether it is a service but tax pair many of my friends are giving a reply we are providing renting of commercial complex service but we have paid tax due to corona financial difficulty that uh, emotional scene in a film all that they will show in the reply due to corona the proprietor is having serious illness here is medical bill co- you attach medical bill copy what assistant commissioner will do oh so sad okay what well, please give me your rtgs details i will transfer you should know what the officer can do and only that you have to answer see in school what used to happen everybody used to get afraid of pt master and library sir correct no pt master is a terror in the school nobody is afraid of math teacher because what he says anyway we don't understand he comes to class something he is doing we are doing something pt sir terror in the school other teachers will contact the pt sir sir this boy ha uh, 9th kannada section jatin when he comes to pt you take care of him sir oh, okay 20 rounds they are playing football i am running 20 rounds pt sir terror in the school next is library sir library sir is a very dangerous person everybody is afraid of these two people later in life only you will realize that those two people had no contribution only for correct no 
we are afraid of wrong people there is one inspector who was superintendent of central taxes he came and said sir department they have given me so much of work to do i don't know what is all this or how to do can you give me some uh, tips can you tell me how i should too much work have you studied gst have you attended any class department sent me for training i attended all the classes so what did you understand thing i understood nothing they have given me for, please bear in mind we are imagining the other side there is a super expert sitting who is giving all these notices please bear in mind if you have done your self assessment correctly you have nothing to be afraid of if you have done self assessment correctly you have nothing to be afraid of no but officer is saying whatever we have done is wrong that is his job to say whatever you have done is wrong that doesn't mean what you have done is wrong 90% not 50% 90% of the cases that i have considered i have seen tax payer is completing the incomplete investigation from the department side tax payer is completing the incomplete investigation by the department i'll give you one example you tell me if this is true or not there is an assessee audit was conducted under section 65 165 audit is conducted they gave a report state gst department in karnataka has a practice they will give a notice under section 656 read with rule 1014 last para it says please deposit the other above amounts with the interest and penalty of 10% within 7 days otherwise serious action as per law will be taken against you so assess he got very worried he contacted us by the time he contacted us 3 days are over he contacted us on friday morning he said sir 7 days matra iradu already 4 days is over searching your mobile number 3 days you don't go to udupi you sit here you draft the reply because 7 days i have to pay or i have to give detailed reply so we told the client don't give consultancy you have got reply you have got audit report what should you do section 65 6 says you have to give audit trip department will give an audit report 65 7 says if you don't pay the tax they have to give a show cause notice as per section 65 7 so we gave a short reply to that on friday itself by afternoon reply was ready client very happy so what is the morning i sent report already afternoon reply is ready reply is a short reply what is reply kind we received audit report under 65 6 thank you for the same request you to kindly proceed as per law under section 65 7 thank you kind regards finished now officer has to sit and write the show cause notice he is contacting what is this you have not given any explanation so i saw one show cause notice one instance officer has given a report like this of uh, five pages five pages he has given a reply various observations he has made he has taken it to one chartered accountant in bangalore and explained to the chartered accountant sir please prepare detailed reply hegirbeku detailed agirbeku detailed reply strong age reply but so this person has prepared a 50 page reply for a 5 page audit report 50 page reply he has put karnataka high court judgment service tax judgment vat judgment madras high court judgment delhi high court judgment there is one court of international one court of justice called the european court of justice in uh, prague that judgment also he has, he has put oxford dictionary meaning then blacks law dictionary me, he 50 page reply he has prepared and given to the off. client is very happy sir jetin gives only two line reply useless he does not know gst strong reply he gives sir excellent sir thank you very much he has submitted that 50 page reply five page query 
50 page reply now he got 60 page shoka's notice so he brought shoka's notice to me i'm seeing the shoka first time so many years in while introducing in the morning sir said uh, i have many years of many years of experience i have doing mistakes only i first time i am seeing shoka's notice with case law normally order will have case law notice will not have case law here notice itself how he got case law this reply only copy paste copy paste you can tell very clearly he has done copy paste because the first part is times new roman and that font times new roman then this is some other courier new he has copy pasted everything he has prepared 60 page reply see what happened there's one boy he was always failing in the exam always he's failing in the exam not passed his father is very upset with him useless fellow you are not passing in your exam one day he, one paper only pending he finished his paper he went home and he told his father that this time i will pass the exam very confident that he will pass the exam no doubts so his father said how come you are so confident that you will pass the exam see my neighbor ramesh he was sitting in the exam hall just in front of me i just arranged my table in such a way that i can get full view of his answer paper he kept on writing i also kept on writing everything he asked for extra answer paper i also asked for extra answer paper he went to bathroom i also went to bathroom exactly i did everything what ramesh is doing for 3 hours detailed answer paper i submitted i think i am going to pass his father said this ramesh he is doing bcom you are doing ba how you will pass this time see copy does not mean copy to this extent today notices are being issued in this manner whatever you file a reply there is one reply i filed on uh, our office letterhead we got order we got an order in that order our letterhead also is present so now it is no longer copy it is uh, scan the image just scan the full reply and attach it to the reply 108 pages i got order i've never seen normally when an order is so detailed there are all legal points are there nothing two pages of conclusion everything else is notice audit report reply to audit report show cause notice reply to show cause notice everything has been scanned please bear in mind friends the other side they are also struggling to understand the law because there are many safeguards for the taxpayer they have to overcome i'll give a small example to highlight this there is an assessee transporting a generator they have manufactured very big generators they are transporting a generator no e-way bill it is not like e-way bill is there but the part b is missing e-way bill totally not there and uh, only delivery chalan uh, vehicle was intercepted officer said you have to pay tax they gave notice 36 lakhs was the demand 200 percent penalty so 36 lakhs which means they have arrived at the consignment value one crore so they gave notice mov6 reply was filed e way bill not generated because e bill not applicable short reply long reply is mostly wrong reply short reply e-way bill not generated because e-way bill not applicable officer uh, got upset which is good if he gets upset you're doing all right so we, he fixed hearing so we went for the hearing what is this i have checked your uh, dashboard and uh, you are making sales of generator 98 lakhs 1 crore 1 crore 2 lakhs 1 crore 5 lakhs so average value is 1 crore for your generator 18 percent is the rate of tax 200 percent 36 percent so 36 lakhs penalty i have proposed he said but you are replying that e-way bill not applicable sir 
section rule 138 says the eweevil is required when the value is more than 50000 rupees what is value consignment value means value as per section 15 if i am selling the generator 1 crore what you are saying is correct but i am not selling the generator who told you i am selling the generator i am renting the generator for 20000 rupees per day two days i am renting it 40000 rupees below 50000 rupees so e way bill not applicable officer makes an assumption of what you are doing officer says you are providing you are you are selling the generator but the reality is that i am renting the generator it is a 1 crore generator but if you buy but if you rent it should it be 1 crore no it has to be as per section 15 question the question before you answer the question sometimes i get calls from chartered accountants chartered accountant when he calls up only he will send <coughs> it will be in odd hours after late at night they will call weekend as soon as they call you can tell from the voice that uh, he is under tension any time you have uh, felt like that you see the notice immediately you are in tension immediately you are in tension what will you do you will try to find a possible solution i want to urge you it is not your case it is the client's case the notice has been given to whom to the client doctor should not cry looking at the x ray okay doc you look at the x ray oh anta altaida doctor sir doctor is crying looking at the x ray doctor should be bold come on nothing to worry it is broken but all the pieces are inside only it's okay we can fix it ha huh? what does the doctor say when you go to hospital what does the doctor say devaru idare dhairyavagirri ee gulige thagoli manege hogi guna adre somara nodana guna aagdire adre banwara bartini that's all we have to be little bit detached from the client's affairs see if you win the case if you win the case that uh, mysore hotel case i told you 56 lakhs refund i was telling him that aurali uh, en tota ide namme sara thagolboda anta kelta ide but they are not understand if you win the case it is for the client please bear in mind you are not the cause you are not the cure you are not the cause you are not the cure you are loyal to the law you will practice your craft diligently outcome is for the client to face so interest is 10 lakh sir okay because you can do multiplication you know that the interest is coming to 10 lakh rupees it is for the tax payer to do. see once you take gst number once you take gst number you can be assured you will get notice if you don't want notice what you should do surrender gst number do it it field there are lot of jobs but everybody is not getting into job they are getting into business when you look at x ray doctor should not cry. when i hear sir notice has you 10 o'clock at night today i also i got one message person said 9:30 pm i will talk to you before that i am very busy i cannot talk to you I said okay you know the professional colleague so we said okay we can talk at 9:30 pm but you can see from the message that he is already now how many of you here please ask yourself this question when you saw a notice you lost sleep lost hunger full tension no concentration on work immediately you felt like i stop everything immediately you felt like that but you compare with a doctor doctor very clearly says bed number 27 surgery on monday that's all 
weekend he will go with family come back monday morning he will do surgery mostly everything will be okay otherwise god is there why you worry you should be little bit detached be confident you are the officer before whom you are filing the reply his job is to reject your reply see if somebody is going to accept your reply you will give a long reply when somebody is going to reject your reply why you are giving a long reply somebody is going to read it and say this is all bcom habit i'll tell you actually if you trace puc bcom i don't know what to answer psychology history geography political science sociology accounts accounts anyway somehow we will manage ramesh is there but what about uh, other papers you simply write long answer at least one mark per paper if we get 40 mark 40 paper 40 marks next we will study in second become first year only we did nicely second also we tried third year final year already planning to pra get into tax practice attended some seminar i think i will become udupi district tax bar association member my life is set i don't need to constant long answer is generally wrong answer correct no? many times we see this many times i want to bring this other message to you your answer has nothing to do with the question your answer has everything to do with what this officer can do for your case clear what can this officer do for your case nothing he can do if you give a law if you give 50 page reply to audit report what he will do 60 page show cause notice he will give so what i have done in audit report cases central especially they gave an audit report some 10 findings are there so we replied you saying within 7 days you pay this tax otherwise something will happen etc we filed a reply stating we don't agree we received your report we don't agree officer called said what is this you have given only one reply you have to give para wise reply 10 para is there para wise you give reply okay sir we'll give reply para 1 we don't agree para 2 we don't agree para 10 we don't agree no 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 you cannot say we don't agree you have to give reasons why you don't agree okay sir para 1 we don't agree because it is not payable para 2 we don't agree because it is not pay- reason we don't agree why because it is not applicable what is not applicable whatever you say it is not applicable no you must understand gst i am trying sir i am trying and one day i will fully understand but today this is my reply please do not educate the department through your reply that is my next point you see you go back and see all the replies that you are fi- we are filing in the name of filing the reply we are educating the department when you educate the department they are not going to get educated they are going to use that education against you somebody was saying knowledge is to know what to speak somebody else said wisdom is to know when to speak there is a time when you have to give the reply all all proceedings will end in a notice anybody has got a asmt 12 asmt 10 is issued on 61 you give a reply in asmt 11 they will give a if they are satisfied they will give asmt 12 anybody has got asmt 12 is it 90% of the cases you are getting asmt 12 10% 5% 1% please keep in mind it has to be such a prima facie mistake otherwise show cause notice will compulsorily be issued against all asmt 10 many might feel that no i, I have received asmt 10 for last uh, one year i have not received any show cause notice please bear in mind the last date 
has now been extended for 1718 show cause notice will come why because in the department there are targets there are targets how to give show cause notice by when to give show cause notice so please bear in mind we are all going to get show cause notices we will all get show cause notices no 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 i am doing everything perfectly you may be doing everything perfectly but is it possible to take another interpretation for what you have done you have done everything perfectly is it possible to take another interpretation i'll give an example there is a commission agent in india there is a commission agent in india he is in let us say bangalore he earns money in foreign currency commission agent in bangalore earns money in foreign currency now this person he has paid igst because the customer is outside india he has paid igst he says i will not get any notices now this person he received a notice to pay cgst sgst is it correct or not correct the supplier is in bangalore the place of supply in case of commission agent is where the supplier is located so both are within india within karnataka so therefore department is now demanding cgst sgst when you look at instances like this you will feel very clearly that somebody on the other side is sitting and preparing notices and sending it to your jurisdictional officer to issue them based on the system generated information so please keep in mind the officer giving the notice need not be the officer who has identified the issue there is extensive amount of sharing of knowledge taking place within the department there is extensive amount of sharing the knowledge that is taking place within the department there could be an officer in goa who is very knowledgeable in hospitality industry this officer will issue notices and share that notice with an officer in bangalore there could be an officer in bangalore who is very knowledgeable about it sector he will issue notices and that notice will be shared with an officer in mumbai exchange of information is taking place in a very elaborate manner i will give you six issues six issues for 17 18 where all of us will get notices issue number 1 interest interest on debit notes interest on drc 3 payments at gross value i have discussed this earlier so you can consider this next rcm under 93 many have not complied particularly in gta and legal services i'll give a small example there is a bank small branch in udupi this branch has empaneled advocates any borrower who has defaulted in the loan the advocate will send legal notice the advocate fees for empaneled advocates is 5000 rupees per legal notice so the bank has made 5000 rupees payment to the advocate that 5000 rupees has been debited to the defaulter's loan balance now if you see the accounts of the bank you will not find legal charges expenditure because the legal charges is debited to the defaulter's loan account rcm payable on this or not payable rcm payable rcm obviously payable so many have defaulted on rcm payments so rcm under 93 cgst sgst 53 igst till you started paying rcm is liable another example in 2022 i paid rcm of 1718 can i take itc or not in 2022 i am paying rcm of 1718 can i take itc or not the popular opinion is you cannot take itc because i cannot take itc i am not even paying rcm if the department demands rcm that time you cannot take itc isn't it so therefore what happens rcm is a big liability next purchases from unregistered persons 
goods or services purchases from unregistered persons was exempt from 13th october 2017 purchases from unregistered persons up to 12th october 2017 is payable or not payable is it paid not paid if you pay it in 2022 can you get itc yes you can get itc but nobody is claiming itc so nobody is paying it uh, rcm also next do you know any assessee having same pan number but more than one gst number assessee having one pan number but more than one gst number when there is multiple gst number between the branches there will be some transactions even without any flow of money there will be some transactions which are liable to tax so for the period 17 18 everybody will get notices but i no, have not got any notices till now let me ask you this question do you think department will not give notice or the department will use the information on the portal to send notices to everybody we'll take an we we'll take a we'll see what experience we have in service tax as you know because gst was introduced from july 2017 service tax demands from 1415 were getting time barred 1415 was getting time barred 1516 16 17 and then the three months of 17 18 did the government avoid giving any gst notice a service tax notice they simply issued a notice they simply issued a notice stating whatever liability why tax payer is going to complete the incomplete investigation they'll send the notice tax payer we got a show cause notice for service tax in our own office in our own office we got a service tax show cause notice for the year 15 16 last day of december they called the office accounts person in the office they said uh, you please come to the department call from the department so immediately he ran to the department please take this notice you give a signature that you have received it on 31st of december so he signed that he received it on 31st 30th of december saturday he collected that notice he came back he showed me the notice the next week the show cause notice says your 26 as is not matching with st3 information they don't have a 26 as is 26 as is not available with us kindly provide the 26 as so the allegation is before the crime if they have 26 as if they have st3 and it is not matching they can give a notice they don't have st3 they don't have 26 as they have said 26 as is not matching with st3 in the please show cause why an amount of rupees in brackets it is written to be decided later should not be demanded from you so i gave instructions in the office saying don't reply to this notice whenever they give a hearing i will only go for this case so that boy in the office he has lot of energy i think he has a duracell battery every morning full of energy he has every week he is asking me sir did you prepare reply now he is become my boss every week he, sir what is this you are not no discipline only you are not preparing reply already we got notice i went to the department i collected notice you are not preparing reply so i so he told me he gave me one suggestion sir bekadre i will prepare reply you just verify i told him i have already told you you don't do anything sir uh, what happened you are not letting me prepare the reply you are also not preparing the reply what is the problem so i sat down and told him whenever the hearing fixed you come with me till then you don't disturb me two years later hearing is fixed two years later hearing was fixed i told him you come with me we went to the officer deputy commissioner irs officer sitting he said okay please tell me what do you have to say regarding this show cause notice reply short reply shortest reply sir 
i don't understand how much tax you want to demand so i have nothing to say about this notice officer you please give all the documents i will compute the liability sir computation you don't worry i also know how to do the computation without 26 as how did you come to the conclusion that it is not matching isn't it for auditors i have this question see clients will bring accounts clients will bring 3b returns when we are preparing annual returns reconciliation statement we know how to reconcile because annual return is a different figure accounts has a different figure of turnover we have to do the reconciliation we understand because on advance you have paid the tax gst advance is not taken as income in the uh, for income tax which client you will be more worried somebody who brings accounts which is not tallying or somebody who brings accounts where everything is tallying which client will be more worried if something is not tallying we know how to tally it but if everything is telling what do we do we are auditors first we will make it not to tally then we will do the reconciliation that is how we are auditors isn't it so when you look at it from this point of view please bear in mind whenever you receive a notice three point reply i have already told you whenever you re receive a notice first you have to ask yourself who center or state who has given the notice center or state because if you are registered with center state cannot interfere if you are registered with state center cannot interfere correct no first question you have to ask yourself is who you know where you are registered then you can compare who has given the notice tell me can commissioner of police give gst notice why not he is also commissioner he is also commissioner he is also doing government work this person also doing government work there is a particular law that says police commissioner has to do certain work gst commissioner has to do certain work anybody if they start to do everybody's work then actually nobody will do their own work so first you have to know who you are registered with whom who is giving you the notice second how how means under which section under which section there is an officer who sent a letter you have not paid gst properly we have calculated your gst liability as so much within 7 days you have to pay the tax otherwise you see very serious consequences will take place immediately client is nervous what is the serious consequence so in one of the training i gave this example that such letters are being sent so some of the officers were smiling so i said what happened neere kotti idira ee tara he said yes i have given notice like that okay so can you please explain serious consequences anta helidirala what is the serious consequences that will take place adanna find out madadakke nan class ge bandidini sir anta he does not know what he should do after sending the notice so he has sent general conclusion serious consequences so i asked him when you send a notice that says serious consequences will follow what will happen sir everybody comes to the department and pays the tax sir major nobody raises all these questions they will come they will meet they will discuss tax payer will come sir tax payer will come his auditor will come sometimes both of them will come together and we will have nice discussions please bear in mind we are educating the department to use that against us alva please be very careful who how did they issue this because every section has limits boundaries what they can do what they cannot do department issued an audit notice in adt1 everyone's got adt1 some 50 items are there please provide this please provide that so normally what i do is there a small explanation a small note also i have prepared for all my clients whenever they get audit notice i will give them this notice idanna odkoli you you understand this 
you come to any conclusion and you tell me what you want me to do in that note it says whenever you get an audit notice from the department there are two ways of addressing this notice option a what is option a long form audit what is long form audit whatever they are asking i will provide if they are asking for any new information that also i will provide and my fees is let us say 20000 rupees for example 20000 rupees so the client says so 20000 rupees is a lot of money said but long form of audit lot of time will go so 20000 rupees i am charging okay but when you give all this information can you give me guarantee that they will not give any show cause notice that guarantee i cannot give that guarantee so what is the option one more option is there what is that option short form audit what is short form audit i will not give any information that i am not supposed to give how much fees for that 10000 rupees for that why short form audit minimum time i will spend but then will we get a notice guarantee you will get a notice now you have to decide what to do first one you will get a notice second one also you will get a notice first one lot of time will go and you will get a notice second one minimum time you will go and you will get a notice you decide. sir uh, is there any third option no only two options both are bad options you have to decide so many instances client will choose sir i don't want to fight with the department no problem long form matters kali long form i will give everything all that 50 things they are asking everything i will provide then we will see they are there we will see what will happen there are some clients who are very confident they say sir short form audit so audit department has sent letter please provide gstr 1 please provide gstr 3b please provide gstr 9 9c balance sheet so we give reply item number 1 available on the portal item number 2 available on the portal item number 3 available on the portal item number 4 attach to item number 3 on the portal that's all item number 5 please prepare 2a 3b reconciliation not aware how to prepare the reconciliation no see because we know what reconciliation is does not mean we should prepare the reconciliation any section that says you have to prepare reconciliation 17 18 18 19 1920 any section that says you have to prepare reconciliation then why you are preparing sir sumne yake sir x ray nodidde alad x ray nodi doctor alabardu we are looking at the x ray and we are already crying reconciliation i will do sir i will do sir you are very busy your tax audit season income tax filing season. sir that is up to 6 pm sir after 6 pm i will do sir but after 6 pm yes sir i have no family no wife no children nobody in my family sir seven days i am for your service only sir sir but already it's 10 o'clock at night sir no another till 6 am i have time sir till morning 6 am i have time after 6 am what level another client is coming sir my life is only for you sir last 5 years my life is for you 11th 10th 20th till 11:59 i will keep uploading the portal i don't know whether it will work or not so therefore we don't know what we are not required to furnish we don't know we think that if we give all the reconciliation they will give a certificate of appreciation and then they will say janamari you can kindly proceed no notice for anybody is there who has got certificate of appreciation department sends a certificate of appreciation for being highest tax payer not being highly compliant tax anybody who has filed all the 12 months returns properly you got certificate of appreciation no for contributing highest tax because because of you nation building is taking place your money only we are using isn't it 
so please be very careful the third aspect to bring to your consideration is when you look at this law i am not instigating you to fight with the department i am only sharing my experience how tax payer is being misled tax payer is being misled into doing things beyond what the law requires you to do tax payer is taken upon himself tax professional has taken upon himself the job of outsourcing of investigation department has to do audit they will send you 7 days you have to give all the information we will prepare in excel we will prepare we will put in pen drive we will give everything please be very careful when you do all this calculation it means that you have accepted that your self assessment is not correct correct no you have done assessment of your liability every month under section 59 you have filed returns under section 39 when you do all of these things it means that you are somehow very clear that uh, you have done some mistake isn't it please be more confident about your assessment why this is important <coughs> because sir was mentioning this in the morning previously central excise vat service tax customs they those acts were made under one article called article 246 even article in the constitution saying how center and states the power will be divided etc for gst there is a totally new article 246a this article says notwithstanding anything contained in 246 so this article is superior so everything in gst is different from the way it was in service tax central excise or vat the act is different the source of the power in the constitution is different therefore the administration also has to be different but somehow we are thinking we are thinking since the officer is the same the assessee is the same the behavior also must be the same the behavior should be different because this is a brand new legislation when we look at gst we need to recognize are we still doing vat practice in the name of gst this question we should ask ourselves are we doing vat practice in the name of gst replying to a letter from the department questioning the notice is it uh, illegal is it illegal or is it bold if it is bold it is legal questioning the notice is not illegal because section 160 subsection 2 it says if you want to question whether the notice is legally correct or not you have to do that in the first chance you get after the order is passed you cannot raise these questions when the law is telling you to ask the question why we are not asking the question because we want to be nice to the officer we want to be friendly with the officer we want to send him good morning messages on whatsapp i think this law has made it possible for us to stand straight and be loyal to the law we don't have to be like this we have to be respectful but it is different from doing injustice to the client because we are afraid what the officer can do what can the officer do he is also attending one seminar to understand what he should do we'll take a lunch break now we'll come back and we'll look at some more issues that are there to discuss thank you very much